Coming up on today's episode of Airborne and Man, FAA's Holiday Drone Awareness Campaign. Also, Skyborne graduates join Flyby Technology and Liftoff Micro Drones UAV Simulator release. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. The FAA has launched its 12 Days of Drones campaign to educate the public about the best practices inherent to the hobby. While drones have settled into a somewhat common and well-understood hobbyist aircraft or videography assistant, public understanding and familiarity with UAV regulations remain lower than desired. The agency is sharing a specific topic or bundle of knowledge for each of 12 days through December 17th, building a short and effective knowledge base for incoming drone pilots. The campaign topics will include minimum, preparatory knowledge before flight, registration and drone marking, test requirements for recreational UAS safety trust, Part 107 certificate requirements, locations suitable for flight, airspace restrictions, airspace authorizations, flying at night, flying over people, flight in weather conditions, flight near wildfires, natural disasters and police operations, and humanitarian or volunteer opportunities suitable for drone use. The rules may still seem new to some, despite being in place for years. While the FAA's jurisdiction over manned flights seems obvious to many, it's not uncommon for ordinary folk to assume the relatively innocuous, small, and low-flying drones under the tree are of little interest to regulators. We got more news after the break. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Drone Fund selects Wingcopter for VC investment. The Japanese venture capital investment company Drone Fund 3 selected German outfit Wingcopter for their first eVTOL and drone investment target. The move follows Wingcopter's association with another of Japan's aerospace companies, ANA Airlines, in 2020. The joint effort separately plans to roll out a drone delivery network to improve product availability in a sparsely populated, demographically geriatric, rural regions of Japan. The investment caps off a good year for Wingcopter, filling their coffers after a series of successful test rollouts to hit the ground running in 2022. Aerovironment awarded $4 million foreign military contract. Aerovironment's UAVs have gained another customer through the foreign military sales program, selling their Puma 3 all environment and WAS. AE ISR systems to an undisclosed ally. The company received a $4.1 million firm fixed price contract with the DoD FMS office that included their Puma 3 and WASP with spare packages, training and support with delivery anticipated by fall 2022. The most up-to-date Puma 3 AE is a battery-powered, hand-launchable, man-portable drone weighing about 15 pounds. In standard trim, it can operate for up to 2.5 hours, up to 12.4 miles away. 
Helijet inks deal with Blade for booking services. Helijet International has made an agreement with Blade Urban Air Mobility for the sale of exclusive booking rights along Helijet's scheduled service routes, which will continue to be operated by Helijet. The sale is part of a new partnership geared towards expanding routes and preparing the way for sustainable electric VTOL aircraft into the British Columbia market. For customers, the integration with Blade will be seamless, only noted by new additional booking features as part of the online process. Mock SIM to release eVTOL SIM German company Mock Simulation Services GmbH has announced their development of a simulator geared towards pilot training for the fast-growing eVTOL market. With aircraft that can fly differently from standard rotary and fixed-wing competitors, operators have been faced with an issue of how to more efficiently, affordably, and safely train aviators on such a different aircraft from the norm. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Skyborne graduates join Flyby Technology. Skyborne Airline Academy celebrated the achievement of two recent ATPL UK graduates joining Flyby Technology as beyond line of visual sight drone operators. The students now put their training to use, supporting flight operations for an NHS trial to evaluate drug delivery for the Isle of Wight. The graduates, James Kirk and Adam Prince, have begun working on a project with APN for the Isle of Wight NHS Trust, researching the capabilities of drone technology to increase speed of delivery and access to chemotherapy drugs between Portsmouth and the Isle. If promising the route could save a good deal of time and medication wastage, especially important for intensely expensive temperamental chemo drugs. Kirk describes his new job as helpful for an aviation career, saying that, although being a drone pilot and airline pilot seem vastly different, the training I received at Skyborne has been extremely beneficial to me. In our MCC course, we learned to operate a multi-crew cockpit, which at flyby has helped me to prepare for the pilot monitoring role role and develop effective communication within the team. The work we're doing is really interesting and rewarding. I'm glad to be a part of this team making impressive steps in automation for the medical industry. Coming up after these messages, Micro Drones UAV Simulator released. Those details after the break. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. The Zephyr is what you have always wanted. A highly capable two-seat turbine-powered helicopter with great ramp appeal, 100 mile per hour cruise speed, 172 nautical mile range, and to top it all off, a first of its kind emergency airframe parachute system, the Curdy Design Zephyr. Unique, advanced, innovative, and highly capable. Your ultimate freedom machine is available now at Zephyr.eu. Welcome back. Liftoff Micro Drones UAV Simulator released. Belgian developer Lugu Studios has released the newest edition of its Liftoff series of quad rotor drone flight simulators, Liftoff Micro Drones. Drone pilots wistfully imagining a cannonball run throughout their home will find the games playable, realistic housing equipment and layout, a fine analog to real life decor endangerment. With multiple environments from a neon-lit drone racetrack, a well-dressed home, and a warehouse full of stacked boxes and shelving, pilots will find a suitable simulation to practice their FPV flight skills. At launch, all maps will be included as day and night variations, 
with future free DLC to be released over time. The game will include drone frames and parts, with a virtual workbench to modify and recolor the playable assets. The full release will include a dedicated tutorial, more game modes, a track builder, and a progression system to track a player's virtual flight career. The full release version will cost €19.99, available on Steam for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Lugo Studios has been a partner of the International University Drone Racing Organization since 2020 and has provided their software and simulation services as a base for drone racing practice. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne in the directory and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.